Greetings hobbyists, this is our Sansa Vool, and for this quick tip we're going to be having a look at the multi-selection mode. So we've got our default cube here in the middle of the screen and I'm just going to add a subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to make a simple version of that and I'm just going to up that to say 3 just so we can demonstrate this a little bit easier. Obviously we could have subdivided it another way but that's not the point of this video. So I'm normally a great supporter of using machine tools. It's the thing where if you've seen my other videos when you press tab it gives you the options of the modes that you can go to and it makes it really quick to slide into vertex mode or down to edge mode or right to face mode and it definitely speeds up those transitions so that if I'm working on a face here and then I want to go into the edges I can quickly shift between it. Now obviously if you don't have machine tools, one, go out and get it, it's free. But if you don't, you can just obviously press tab and then you can press one, two or three to go through those modes. Now I will say I can't do that because when you've got machine tools, they get assigned to other things. But there is one thing that machine tools doesn't do, which you can do over here, which is really helpful. Now say for example, I wanted to go into face mode. I selected this face and I wanted to G and X to move that out. And then we've got this horrible topography here, which isn't gonna work. We've got a lot of errors and essentially this won't 3D print. So I'm gonna go into vertex mode. I've got to select those two and press join so that I can assign that to not be a non-flat face. And then I'm gonna to have to do the same over here and here and here. And just as an aside for this, don't let the shading make your decision here. It looks like you have to do there, which you could do to do that. Or if I undo that, you can do this here, J to join. And then I go back into face mode and I can deal with that. Now, multi-select mode allows you up here to select the one of them. For example, I'm in face mode. And if you hold down shift, you can select something else. For example, I might select vertices as well. So now at the moment, I can come in here and select a face, but I can also select a single vertex. I don't have to go between them, which means that obviously if I press G and X to move that out, I then don't need to change to be able to go into those and start fixing these errors that Blender's got. Now this makes the process nice and quick, it means you can do a lot with it a lot faster. Now you can do any combination of those. For example, I could do vertex and edge, and that allows me to select things like vertices and individual edges, and it just speeds up a little bit of time. Now, I just want to make sure that people are aware that if you do select just one of them, for example, vertex mode, if I select that vertex and then shift select that one, it does effectively, and you'll notice it does highlight it, select the edge in between. And again, I could select that and that, and now the face is selected as well. So this hasn't been something that limits you previously. It's just something that can speed life up. And you can select two or even three things. So for example, I could quickly select that face, that edge, and that vertex, for example, all in one go. And if I wanted to, I could move those out for whatever reason I might have. But for me, it's just not having to transition between the two that makes this so useful. Now there's one limitation of this that you need to be aware of and actually this is an improvement to what it was previously if you had all three modes selected vertex edge and face it wouldn't let you do edge loops very easily whereas now and i don't know when this change happened because to be perfectly honest i only found out about this a couple of months ago it seems like it should be obvious but it never really occurred to me to try shift selecting multiple things but if you hold down alt to select an edge loop for example here it will always use the highest denominator that's here. For example, face mode is the highest denominator, or what I would think of the highest denominator, it's made up of, in most instances, four vertices. So that is going to be selected, and I can obviously alt select those. What you can't do, and notice that loop select is quite clever, it does, if I go slightly more to one side, so for example here it indicates that I want this loop if I've gone slightly more to one side, but if I wanted just this edge, I want to select the edge loop of the edges here, it still gets confused and can only do face mode. So if you've got face mode on, you can't select edge loops. So you do have to come off of this if you want to select, let's say an edge loop there and an edge loop there. So just something to be aware of. This is a very, very useful tool. It can save you some time, but it isn't perfect. There's no way that I'm aware of, of selecting face mode or having face mode selected and it doing everything and not getting confused by the edge loops, for example, there. Now, I don't know how much people will find that faster than using machine tools to select things. I actually really like machine tools and I've got used to it now, but I think for some people this will really simplify things and it does make learning Blender a little bit easier because you don't have to keep switching between everything when you want to do, for example, mesh cleanup is where I think this is going to be particularly handy.